In this video, we're going to discuss learning curve analysis. So in your textbook, you probably see lots of examples where costs behave in a linear manner. But in real life, quite frequently, costs behave in a nonlinear manner. And one example is labor. So the more and more units that a company produces, the higher its total labor cost is going to be. But as a company produces more and more units, the labor cost on a per unit basis can actually decrease and go down. And that's because the company's employees learn to do the task better and it takes them less and less time to do the task. The more you do something, the better at it that you get. So you're gonna become more efficient. It's gonna take you less and less time to do it. And we call this a learning curve. By the way, you might also hear the phrase experience curve. It's a related concept. It's just what we call the learning curve when we're not just talking about labor, but things like marketing, distribution, and so forth. So the experience curve was actually popularized by the consulting firm Boston Consulting Group uh, several decades ago. Okay, but let's get back to the learning curve. So I've got some numbers here. I've got an example. Uh, so we've got a couple columns. We've got task perform. So you produce uh, perform one task, but then you do it a second time, third time, etc., all the way up to 16. Okay, so we've got this uh, right here, the number of tasks performed. And then we have the amount of time, let's say in hours, okay, to perform uh, a task. So time per task, that's on uh, the axis here. So we see that actually as you do more and more tasks, as you ask an employee to do more and more tasks, okay, the amount of time it takes per task actually comes down. That's what we're talking about uh, when we talk about a learning curve, okay? So they do the task more and more times, they get better and better at it, it's gonna take them less and less time, okay? So if it goes 17 tasks, 18, et cetera, the more and more they do it, they're gonna get better at it, it's gonna take less and less time. So there's two popular learning curve models, uh, the cumulative average time learning model and the incremental unit time learning model. And I'm gonna talk about each of those videos in detail and go through examples in the next two videos.